All right, what is going on, everyone? And welcome back to more Black Desert. So, um, we're gonna do a few things, but Zarka and Karanda just spawned. I don't actually know which one dies first. So we're gonna go to Zarka first. I'm pretty sure, if anything, Karanda is the one that goes first. a character at Karanda on my lawn and I think one day I'm gonna bring my characters back to Velia regear them you know with all the season like pen Kaposha stuff that we got yeah I'm gonna gear up another character probably I'm gonna make it my Nova uh, that's a character I'd want to play Boss is at 90. Let's swap. I don't think any of them are like the awakened version. But yeah, today was patch day and Honestly, there's nothing really exciting in this patch. We're all just kind of waiting for all the class changes. And hopefully the Dark Knight one, the reworks are pretty good. In some of my previous videos, I actually did give some feedback on like what I would like to see that would be actually pretty reasonable for Dark Knights. And it's not even any damage increase abilities. Well, I mean, there's some that are just skills that aren't even used. But yeah, it's mostly those the abilities that aren't used much. I don't know how to play Lawn, by the way, so I'm just gonna be like pushing random buttons and hope they do something. I heard Lawn is uh, stupidly overpowered. He's literally just a better Dark Knight in every way. And just uh, better than a lot of other classes in every other way, too. You know, one day I should actually grind out the mini health potion again. Like, the level one infinite potion just for like ball salts. So, but you know it'd actually be better if you know they actually mentioned this and by they I mean probably this where you could put your infinite health potion in your bag or like your family inventory. That would be had stuff on here. I actually have to collect these crystals. Alright, back to Zarka. So after this, we'll probably um, go do some daily tours, maybe some the Rift bosses. I think I forgot to pick up my uh, daily scroll yesterday. Oops. It's not really a big deal.
last shout. box. Got five mil, some crystals. That's it. I'm gonna be honest with you all. Uh, you know these crystals for like the boss gear pens that you're gonna make? A Zarka is not the one you want to make. If anything, top priority would probably be your um, Red Nose armor, because if your goal is to get Fallen God eventually, then Red Nose is the cheaper version. Like, you just need like a thousand less Capra stones in it, so you want Red Nose over Dim Tree. Um, after that is probably Uragon shoes or Muskins, depending on if you're Evasion or DR. It's kind of hard to determine whether you want to get a helmet next, like a griffin helm, because we are probably going to get a fallen god helm at some point, but we just don't know when, so, yeah, but anyway, after that, then you get the gloves, like bags or levers, and then after that, probably offhand, then awakening, and then very last, you would probably make something else, but at that point, you're just better off buying it for silver. Alright, let's see. Let's pick up some scrolls. So, what do we have here? Progression pass, PVE. What did we finish in PVE? Defeat Karanda. Oh, okay. Cool. So, we're at 123 out of 150 here. The rest of these are pretty good. I don't really need another 100 stack, but it's a good reward for like the rest of you. So, there's a few things I kind of want to do, um, but, like, I don't... Let's go do these quests, because, uh, seems fine, I think. I could do all of these on my own time. I don't think you want to watch me gather, to be honest. I don't think anyone wants to watch anyone gathering. <clears throat> um... Tame a wild horse. Dude, I've done that so many times. Complete Imperial Horse Delivery. Okay. Rank 1 Farming. Alright, let's go do Imperial Delivery. Does that have to be, like, rank 5 or higher? Or a tier. Oh wait, it has to be level 15 or higher. Okay, I remember. Um, I don't remember what tier it has to be.
Snow has to be 15 or higher. Uh, wait. Yeah, why is a level 8 at level 30, 140 mil? Oh, never mind. These are female coursers. That explains a lot. Yeah, I'm good. I'm not about to spend 150 mil just for one Capra stone. All right, let's see. What do we get out of these dice rolls? Huh, okay. Kind of want an orange, to be honest. Twenty Capris. Or oh, Crons. Pretty good. Uh we want a I don't know, to be honest. All of them are kind of bad. I'll take a five. Six is good. Four orange pumpkins. What is... We got Cron Stones. So these are the things you get. You just figure out what you want. I think the one you should probably go for is the Capra Stone. So the pink candies. And obviously you get the 51 if possible to get... Capris 80 to a 120 that's 200 mil at very minimum so that's pretty good uh ancient furniture ancient camel statue ancient artifact pot and ancient camel All AP and all DP, plus nine and eight. I guarantee you to camel. Oh my, people actually buy these? All right, well. Uh, <laughs> people don't want this one though. How much do these weigh? heavy are there any pry black stars or black stars on the market that are base Why are DK ones the least popular? No one plays DK. Man, you know one thing about the change in the market? The registration queue, I hate this so much. Like, yeah, it makes it quote unquote more fair. So like there's a 15 minute timer for anything above 10 billion silver. So that means anyone can put their order on it and wait. So like when this one finishes uh, registering in three minutes, the person who has the order on it automatically is going to get it. 14 billion, 14.9. It makes it so you can't relist it like instantly for anything that's like of value, which is good and bad. I, I don't like it because 
One day I wanted to get a pen black star for a hundred bill. But realistically, I feel like I'm gonna have to make it myself, which I mean that is rewarding of itself having your name on a pen black star. You know, I can't get myself to sell my old dandy. I think I'll just put it on my uh, other Dark Knight because that one actually does play Awakening. And But right now it's on Season, so can't do anything with it yet. It's a lot of money. It's 12 bill, but it was also my first pen I've ever made. So there is a zero shot I'm selling it. with that duo ogre. Oh, uh, well, I mean, I saw two of them. It's a little bit different. So my next goal would be 305 AP with Kudum. That's the next AP bracket. And I think the way I'm gonna get that is Pen uh, Eye of the Ruins, which is brings me up to 304, and then Capra's 15 in my Zarka. That'll get me to 305. Um, and then for Nuver, 309. Three, three, thirteen. Okay, so to get me a new bracket with Nuver would be three seventeen, I think. And I just need to get a pen eye of the runes or something, or pen hungred. But I need three AP to get me into a new bracket for this one. So either way. I should probably get a new, well actually, you know, now that I think of it, a pen Tungrad ring would be just straight up better. Um, okay. You know what we could do? Something that I probably should have done before, but I haven't. Let's go do... I'm actually kind of surprised they added a lot of these. Fugar's secret offer. Wait, these are just Nachillion gear. Never mind, I don't need that. I don't even know what the equivalent of this is. This is like plus 15 boss gear. Is all this? <coughs> Saucin and Altanova defeat two hundred Saucins. Uh, no, I'm good. Desert trade. It's funny because you don't actually use these for the intended purpose of heat stroke and hypothermia anymore. They li literally removed that from the game. Nowadays, you use it for like cooking or alchemy, I think.
Okay, so there's some quests over here that I should do. Uh, the reason why we're doing that is for the uh, gathering progression. And this is actually a pretty good reward if you are, especially if you're a new player. Um, getting your first monos is pr like a big deal. Um, if you were to go for money, I'm pretty sure the thing you want is a butcher knife. Now that I think of it, what are the rankings for gathering? Oh dang, we're rank 10, boys. People, this dude plays Path of Exile. Dang, dude, people gather a lot. I remember when I used to get a top five icon. Now people are like Guru 30. What in the world? Okay, get pumpkins by gathering. I have to use like a tool. Go to a nearby field and harvest 10 pumpkins. gather pumpkins but you don't get any pumpkins guru 8 by the way Pumpkin knowledge, boys. Oh, dude, I hate the Doom channel so much. Here's your pumpkins, lady. Okay. Level 15. Lady, I'm glad you enjoyed. Got your pumpkins, which you could have done yourself. At one point, I actually did have all the Manos tools at Tet, and then I sold them because I needed them. So, uh. The only one I didn't sell was the Lumbering Axe, because I need that. Collect logs by lumbering. Okay. Well, I got a Capra Stone, which is worth significantly more. Okay, let me put on... There are logs right here, lady. Just take them. Oh, I need apple trees. Guess I could just take that apple tree and get no apples. All right, that's cool too. It's also a progression pass reward. Are 
Are there any more apple trees that'll, you know, actually give me an apple? That might be nice. Return to Lara. Apple tree? Please give me an apple. I just need one. Yeah. Where was it? Gather some fruit trees. Oh, gather 10 apples. Thanks for giving me a marker of how many apples I have. Whoever designed this quest does not play this game. All right, next on our list is here. Go back to Lara, I believe. Okay. I'm gonna be honest, I don't actually know where the apple trees are in this game. I just kind of find them randomly. It's kind of funny. I'm gonna be honest, I missed a Halloween thing where they had uh, Isabella the Witch as a boss. Get silver azalea by gathering dry main ga grass. Uh... Does this give apples? It tells you it's a fruit tree, but it doesn't tell you what kind of fruit tree it is. For these, do you need a hoe? What did I just get? Magic tool in 2021. What am I doing? Like, what is this game? Why don't these fruit trees give me any fruits? <laughs> That's about uh, how long ago I've gathered. Oh, it is like berry powder or something. trees at we well, almost done with that one I do could use a uh, berry powder
I don't actually remember what tool you need for silver azaleas. Anyway, I guess we are not doing that because I don't remember it right now. We'll figure it out later. What else could we do? You can gather fruit from fruit trees with your bare hands, so basically you don't have a tool. Well, let's see. Let's see if that's true. I don't think I've ever done that. Even like when I started the game, it's like, here, they give you a magic tool or whatever back six years ago. All right, no tool equipped. I'm sure the riding crop didn't really matter. One twenty six. Bro, is this a fruit tree? Oh, my goodness. Was someone else here? Dude, I still don't even. I swear this game is like debating me. You can gather from fruit trees that bear with your. Did they mean the actual apple tree? Oh my god, game. <laughs> Let's go. <clears throat> Can't believe I'm using these. There is a spot to get these polished stones, like if you actually unironically needed them in Pilgrim Haven, which is out in the desert. But if you only want like 10 of them, just find like random rocks. stones by grinding. Okay. One twenty eight, almost at one thirty. Find a potato field to get potatoes. <laughs> Scoop water from the river to, with empty bottles. You guys want to know a trick? Hold up. Let me let me show you something that you guys probably didn't know. A lot of OGs know this. It's not really a secret, but it's just something good to know I guess okay first of all let's go find an empty bottle I don't remember which NPC sells it but get an empty bottle
Do you sell empty bottles? By any chance? How about you? Cool, let's buy one. So this fountain right here, you know, it looks like a bottomless pit, right? You know? Okay, so the water in here counts as river water. Why? I don't know. I guess it comes from the Heidel River, but whatever. Got something done. Don't know where it is. Did I need 10 of them? Wait, what did we even get? Okay. Bottle of river water. Scoop water from the river with empty bottles. Oh my god, game. It literally just gave me river water. Alright. Well, in case you were wondering... Oh, we got a rank 2 icon. What? Apparently people don't like gathering on this channel. Voice. This is also the river, if you didn't know. Apparently this one does... Wait. Got a ten of them. Oh, okay. Why do you want me to get ten? Just one is fine. Imagine you're a new player and you're like, Oh, let's gather water from a river while everyone else is fishing. I must be doing something wrong. A new player and you're just watching this happen. It's like, okay, this is weird. Purify water from filtering it. Will my guildy hit a Tet Bassi belt? I actually remember where to get Silver Azalea. There's like an individual plant that has it, right? Silver Azalea. Dry main plants. That's in Madaya, probably. Madaya and Sheep Mountain. Alright, I'm going to split my video here and see you guys in the next episode.